Hey everyone, it's Leon. Welcome back to another thrilling episode of What's New at Kentech. And I've got a doozy of an update for you this time. Today, I'm featuring two items with phenomenal cosmic power. Itty bitty acronyms. Kentech NMS and Kentic AI, because naming things is hard. And I also have a cool cloud-based new to you to share. We got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get started. Now, Kentic NMS, which stands for Network Monitoring System, because like I said, naming things is hard, is probably the biggest release since the company launched a decade ago. Now, with something that big, you'd expect that we were monitoring cold fusion engines and the Large Hadron Collider, right? Actually, it collects SNMP metrics. Okay, okay, it also collects streaming telemetry, which ain't nothing, and is going to extend to a whole mess of other things in the very near future. Now, the reason this is a big deal has to do with two major points. First, detailed system metrics have been conspicuously missing from Kentic for way too long. And second, the existing solutions are either hyper-focused on applications and give the network short shrift, or they even ignore the network entirely. And most of them are so old that it's difficult, if not impossible, for them to include newer technologies and techniques. I mean, let's be honest. Some of them have code bases that are so old they were new when Snoop Dogg was dropping it like it was hot. For both of those reasons, and a whole bunch more, Kentic saw fit to add so-called traditional network monitoring into the platform. Now, don't get me wrong, flow data and DDoS insights and Kubernetes performance and botnet alerts, these are all incredibly important and useful telemetry. But as Freud once said, sometimes an interface outage is just an interface outage. Now, I know what you're thinking. You hear me saying, I remember when you could collect SNMP data by hitting two rocks together and listening for the echoes. And you're like, sure, Grandpa. Yep, let's get you back to bed now. But the truth is that system metrics, whether they come from streaming telemetry or APIs or OTEL or good old SNMP, are still relevant. SNMP is dead! Long live SNMP! No, it's not. SNMP is not dead. It's fine. It's valid. It's useful. Keep using SNMP. SNMP all the things! I am not just being pedantic or hyperbolic or stubborn or, you know, old. There are still aspects of your infrastructure that you just can't get at without these types of metrics. Interface status, CPU, RAM, disk utilization, disk and memory I.O., sensor info like fan speed, temperature, interface errors, and a metric butt-ton more beyond those. Now these are things any IT practitioner needs to know, both on its own and in combination with other monitoring and observability data. So, how does it work? NMS combines the best of cloud-based and on-premises design by putting the collector in your environment, either as a physical or virtual Linux system or as a Docker container, which pulls and slurps up all the SNMP or streaming telemetry data and sends it securely to the Kentic mothership, at which point you can use it to drive dashboards, reports, and alerts to extend and enhance the already invaluable insights Kentic is providing. Now, when you install NMS today, you're gonna to be able to cover a wide array of devices and data types. But I can't emphasize enough that this is just the start. In the next few months, you're gonna see a whole raft of improvements, updates, integrations, and more. So I am not only encouraging you to check out NMS today, but also keep an eye on it from here on. If you've been working in tech for more than 15 minutes, you know that every marketing person with a pulse is going to slip the term AI at least four times into the first 30 seconds of every conversation. But more than that, you also know that the AI they're talking about is usually just a BS marketing buzzword for three if statements in a trench coat. Which is why I'm a little nervous to announce that what's new at Kentic is Kentic AI. Yep, AI in the Kentic platform is now a thing. But not only is Kentic AI definitely something that is new at Kentic, it's also something I've been voluntold to talk about here. And my family has become really fond of eating regularly. But hold on. Our AI is the good kind. Honest. Another problem with talking about AI in the network space is that most of us have a very specific image for where that leads. But let's be clear. Kentic AI is not trying to artificially intelligence its way into a network design, leading to the entirely understandable conclusion that the only way to fix DNS is to wipe out humanity. In true as a Movian tradition, Kentic AI is committed to helping humanity where it's really needed by keeping us from writing truly horrific queries. Kentic's motto has always been that we help folks ask questions about the network. 
with Kentake AI, you can ask it in a more natural language. So instead of going into Metrics Explorer and choosing slash interfaces slash counters metric, and then grabbing the in and out utilization metrics, and then setting group dimensions for device and interface names, and then setting time range to a week, instead of all of that, I can actually just go to the query assistant and say, interfaces with high utilization for the last week. Now, admittedly, that wasn't a particularly hard query to set up, but my point is that far too often vendors demand users become an expert in their specific interface or dialect of what ultimately is just a bespoke version of SQL. Kentic AI is intended to level the field and allow anyone to ask any question about anything on the network. For more information on this new feature, check out the links in the description below, especially our newest super serious just ask this guy, brand video, which is also linked in the description below. To be or not to be. Is the network up or is it down? That is the question. No, really. More than half the time, monitoring and observability boils down to answering the question, is this thing down or is my computer being a jerk or is my network completely borked? And now with cloud, IT practitioners have to answer questions for a whole bunch of stuff that we don't even own. AWS US East, Ohio, I am looking at you. But it's more than just answering why can't I get to something? What if my website where I sell artisanal free range mouse pads is down because one part of my infrastructure can't get to a different part? It's entirely possible that I can get to each of those parts, but they can't get to each other because potato. And that's where Kentic's connectivity checker comes into play. It checks connectivity from one location to another within your cloud infrastructure. And it does it for both AWS and Azure, which is super convenient. Best of all, you just need to give it some credentials. No, not root. We're not psychopaths. My point is there's nothing, no agent or collector to install or maintain. Just plug in your creds and off it goes. Now, is this feature new? Not exactly but it might be new to you, and that's pretty cool too. All right, I think I've caused enough trouble for one episode. I hope something I shared today has sparked some joy for you, or at least some interest. If you loved today's episode, remember to click like and subscribe for notifications on future episodes. And if you hated today's episode, remember to hit like and subscribe so you can watch us improve. Either way, we know there is a lot of bingeable content out there, and we appreciate you spending some of your precious viewing time with us. For What's New at Kentic, I'm Leon Adato.